pleased to see you return for another day of training. Our scheduled launch is just a few weeks away. Our technical crews have made quite a few changes to improve the rocket and the launch pad. I really enjoyed seeing them work together like we talked about last week in our training. We have so much to go through. I was a little nervous you guys wouldn't come back. But seeing you here gives me great hope that we will accomplish this important mission right on schedule. Speaking of hope, hope is a key element in today's training course. Part of great teamwork relies on having a common goal and hope. The Bible gives us special hope and we, have, and we can have confidence in the future because we know God is faithful and true. First, pop quiz. Does anyone remember our big picture question that we introduced last week? Oh, well, let's say it together. How do we live while waiting for Jesus to come back? All right. Several of you gave me some strange looks when I explained this last time. Okay, I'm gonna pretend you gave me strange looks. It doesn't appear to have much to do with our launch training, but it's more connected than you might think. Okay, who remembers the answer? The answer is, we follow Jesus and tell everyone about him. Let's say it all together. We follow Jesus and tell everyone about him. Looking at our timeline, we can quickly review last week's training. We learned from Paul's letter to Philemon that we need to welcome one another as brothers and sisters in Christ and forgive as Christ forgave us. What an amazing foundation for teamwork. Today, our, focus tra our training focuses on hope. Hope is more than just wanting something to happen. Hope is confidence in the future because we know God is faithful and true. Let's look at God's word and see what he wants us to learn about hope. Today we're going to be in 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 5, 11. About 20 years after Jesus died on the cross and rose again, Paul traveled to the city of Thessalonica. The people there worshipped idols. Some of them even worshipped the Roman emperor. Paul told the people the good news about Jesus, and many people believed in Jesus. Paul started the church in Thessalonica, but some people did not like Paul or his teachings, and they forced him out of the city. Paul worried about the people in Thessalonica. They had not been believers for very long. So Paul sent his friend Timothy to see how they were doing. Timothy brought back good news. Even though the Thessalonians faced suffering for their faith, they did not give up. Paul wrote a letter to encourage the believers. He told them that Jesus will return someday. On that day, Paul said, believers will be freed from their suffering. This message gave them hope. Paul wrote to the believers at the church in Thessalonica to help them know what is true and to teach them what happened to friends who had died. The people, gave, the people could grieve with hope because Jesus died and rose again. God would bring with, bring with him those who had died if they trusted in Jesus. On the day that Jesus returns, the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a shout. Those believers who have died will be raised to life first. Then believers who are still alive will be raised up together to meet the Lord. We will live with him forever. No one knows when Jesus will come again. The day of the Lord, the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night when you do not expect it. So be ready. God has promised us eternal life. He has saved us through his son, Jesus. Whether we are alive or dead when Jesus returns, he will bring us all home with him forever. So continue to encourage each other because we have this future hope. The prophets in the Old Testament told about the day of the Lord, a day when God would come to judge the world and save his people. Paul said that in the future, on the day of the Lord, Jesus will return for his people and judge the wicked. Believers live with hope, knowing that Jesus will return and come for them. That's a pretty cool story. Hope is a pretty important word in there. It was mentioned, what, three, four, five times? 
if something keeps being repeated, that means it's pretty important. All right, before we separate out, we're going to go over our key verse. For the littler ones, like Miss Sarah's class, your verse is just the first part of this, but for all you older kids, you should be able to remember this because part of it's Sparky's verse. So our verse is 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. And it says, all scripture is God breathed, breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. If you guys remember from last week, we talked about what all of those meant, teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training. We touched a little bit on the end, but how does that have, what does that have to do with hope? Well, if we're learning things, we have hope to get smarter, right? Same with rebuking. If we're being rebuked, that means we have the hope to get better. Correcting, again, we can hope that we will do better next time. So, we are to be thoroughly equipped. Hmm. If we're already thoroughly equipped, equipped, how can we have hope? Well, we'll never, unfortunately, be perfect on this earth. That means as much as we want to be thoroughly equipped, it will never happen. We all keep learning. Mr. B still learns. I know. Shocking. He's getting kind of old, but he still learns things. Miss Sarah and I still are learning things. We don't know everything. That means we can hope that we still get to keep learning. Because I don't know about you, but learning new things is pretty fun. All right, we will see you guys all in your separate groups. And we've been told that soon we will be able to meet together. We won't be able to have Sunday school. But we will be able to start having some church services. So we might not be able to see all of you guys at church service, depending on what your families choose, or if it's your week to be at church or not. But we will going to be seeing some of you guys pretty soon so we're excited keep staying home and staying safe and keep encouraging each other bye